Where are all the U.S. Navy ships right now? From the Red Sea to the depths of the South China Sea, the U.S. Navy plays a crucial role in shaping global maritime security. How do they prepare for unexpected attacks? Recently, the Navy has increased its presence in the Red Sea, with destroyers actively taking down drones and missiles from Iran-backed Houthi rebels. This intense conflict highlights the Navy's operational readiness and tactical agility in the face of ongoing threats. What makes their missions critical to our everyday security? Moreover, the U.S. Navy is strengthening its long-standing alliances in the South China Sea, recently through joint maritime exercises with the Philippine Navy. But this is just the beginning. What missions is the U.S. Navy currently undertaking? Let's explore each area to see what's happening and where the ships are. The U.S. Navy, a force to be reckoned with, safeguards American interests across the globe with over 336,000 dedicated sailors and reservists. From surface combat and submarine missions to air support and covert operations, the Navy's versatility is unparalleled. But what exactly does this entail? Equipped with the world's most advanced ships and submarines, including the mighty Nimitz-class aircraft carriers and stealthy Virginia-class submarines, the Navy is always ready for action everywhere at any time. Their mission range from direct combat to humanitarian aid, all driven by core values of honor, courage, and commitment. How does this impressive force translate into action against today's threats? And how do these sailors remain prepared for the unforeseen? The United States Navy operates a fleet of approximately 480 ships in both active service and the reserve fleet. Of these, approximately 50 ships are proposed or scheduled for retirement by 2026, comprising various classes such as aircraft carriers, cruisers, destroyers, and submarines. This includes approximately 33 amphibious landing ships, 88 destroyers, 50 small multi-role surface combatants, 50 nuclear-powered attack submarines, 12 fleet ballistic missile submarines, and 4 guided missile submarines along with 11 huge nuclear-powered fleet carriers. Additionally, the Navy's reserve component consists of approximately 101 reservists who augment and support the active duty force as needed. Because cruisers and destroyers are so important to Navy operations, they are called escort vessels. But make no mistake, these ships are powerful and capable enough to operate on their own in almost any situation. The 88 destroyers and 17 cruisers are used in escorting the major vessels, but calling them escort ships is a huge underrepresentation of their role in the Navy. Arleigh Burke and Zumwalt class destroyers are warships that provide multi mission offensive and defensive capabilities. Destroyers are versatile warships designed for multiple missions, including anti submarine warfare, anti aircraft warfare, and surface warfare. Equipped with advanced radar systems, missile defense systems, and torpedo tubes, destroyers are highly capable of defending against a wide range of threats. They often operate independently or part of a larger naval task force, protecting aircraft carriers and other high-value assets. They can operate independently or part of carrier strike groups, surface action groups, amphibious ready groups, and underway replenishment groups. On the other hand, cruisers are larger surface combatants with an emphasis on long-range engagement and anti-aircraft warfare. They are equipped with powerful missile systems, advanced radars, and electronic warfare suites, making them formidable adversaries against airborne threats such as aircraft and missiles. Cruisers also have the capability to conduct ballistic missile defense operations and provide support to ground forces during amphibious operations. Both destroyers and cruisers play essential roles in projecting power and ensuring the security of sea lanes around the world. Navy submarines are amongst the most high-tech vessels in the world. They can insert SEAL teams in hostile target areas, launch guided or ballistic missiles, take out enemy subs and ships, and perform reconnaissance and rescue missions. U.S. Navy in Japan the United States Navy's significant part and deployment in Sasebo, Japan are majorly for maintaining soundness, 
reinforcing organizations together, and cultivating security over the Indo-Pacific locale. Situated strategically on Kyushu Island, Sasebo acts as a significant operational center for U.S. maritime exercises, encouraging a forward-deployed nearness that not as it were fortifies discouragement, but moreover, empowers fast reaction capabilities and advances interoperability with Japanese and territorial partners. The overarching missions of U.S. maritime strengths positioned in Sasebo spins around satisfying the operational needs of the 7th Armada, including errands such as shielding oceanic exchange courses, guaranteeing opportunity of the route, and deterring potential enemies from antagonistic activities. At the core of the U.S. Navy's footprint in Sasebo lies Commander Fleet Activities Sasebo, or CFAS, which serves as the nerve center for administrative and logistical support to naval forces in the area. CFAS's arrays of critical support services, ranging from maintenance facilities and supply depots to administrative offices and recreational amenities for sailors and their families, underscores its pivotal role in sustaining operational readiness. Moreover, CFAS actively coordinates joint exercises, training endeavors, and port visits with the Japanese Self-Defense Forces, or JSDF, and other regional partners, thereby fostering greater interoperability and reinforcing bilateral and multilateral security cooperation efforts. Central to the U.S. Navy's mission in Sasebo is the Forward Deployed Naval Forces, or FDNF, comprising amphibious ships, surface combatants, and auxiliary vessels, strategically positioned to respond swiftly to contingencies and humanitarian crises in the region. These vessels, exemplified by the USS Wasp, LHD-1, and the USS Germantown, LSD-42, serve as linchpins of the Navy's expeditionary capabilities capable of executing a spectrum of tasks, including amphibious assaults, humanitarian aid missions, and disaster relief operations. Sasebo also serves as the home port for a rotational force of destroyers, cruisers, and other surface combatants tasked with bolstering the 7th Fleet's operational mandate. These ships engage in diverse operations, encompassing maritime patrols, presence missions, and joint exercises along with regional partners to fortify maritime security and stability. Additionally, Sasebo routinely hosts visiting ships and units from allied nations, amplifying collective efforts to promote regional security and cooperation in the Indo-Pacific. Beyond its operational functions, the U.S. Navy's presence in Sasebo plays a pivotal role in fortifying U.S.-Japan defense ties and advancing regional security cooperation endeavors. Through collaborative training exercises, intelligence sharing initiatives, and capacity building programs, the U.S. Navy and JSDF enhance their mutual preparedness to address shared security challenges, including maritime threats and natural disasters. Moreover, the enduring presence of U.S. naval forces in Sasebo underscores America's commitment to Japan's defense under the U.S.-Japan Security Treaty, offering reassurance to allies and partners amidst regional uncertainties and threats. Moreover, the U.S. Navy's presence in Sasebo aligns with the broader U.S. strategic objectives in the Indo-Pacific, including championing a free and open Indo-Pacific, countering malign influences, and upholding international norms and regulations. By maintaining a conspicuous and credible presence in Sasebo, the U.S. Navy underscores its resolve to preserve regional stability, safeguard vital sea lanes of communication, and dissuade potential adversaries from provocative actions. This enduring presence not only underscores U.S. commitment to its allies and its partners, but also cultivates confidence and cooperation among like-minded nations in the region. The South China Sea Operational activities in the South China Sea play a paramount role in safeguarding navigational freedoms, fostering stability, and advocating for adherence to international legal norms within one of the world's most hotly contested maritime regions, and whoever takes this burden surely does wonders for international cooperation. Spearheading this commitment is the Carrier Strike Group 1, 
a formidable maritime task force centered around an aircraft carrier and complemented by cruisers, destroyers, and other auxiliary vessels. Serving as a dynamic representation of U.S. maritime strength, CSG-1 is a prime example of adaptability, mobility, and strength. It can carry out a wide range of operations including air superiority, safety at sea, and force projection over large oceanic areas. Comprising not only one or more aircraft carriers, but also a dedicated destroyer squadron, CSG-1 embodies a versatile force package adept at addressing multifaceted naval challenges including anti-air, anti-submarine, and anti-surface warfare capabilities. Equipped with cutting-edge sensor suites, weapon systems, and electronic warfare capabilities, these destroyers stand ready to detect and neutralize threats across the entire spectrum of naval engagements. Moreover, the inclusion of a cruiser within CSG-1 further amplifies the task force's combat capabilities, offering added firepower, command and control functions, and air defense support to safeguard the carrier strike group. The strategic deployment of CSG-1 in the South China Sea serves as a linchpin in advancing several key strategic imperatives for the United States Navy. Foremost amongst these objectives is the unequivocal demonstration of American commitment to the principles of freedom of navigation and overflight within international waters, especially in the face of escalating tensions arising from excessive maritime claims and unilateral militarization efforts by China and other stakeholders in the region. Through regular patrols and exercises, CSG-1 reaffirms the sanctity of navigational freedoms while bolstering the rules-based global order underpinned by international law. In addition to its role in asserting navigational freedoms, CSG-1 functions as a crucial instrument of deterrence and stability, projecting America's unwavering resolve to honor security commitments to allies and partners across the Asia-Pacific region. The conspicuous presence of a carrier strike group underscores the United States' capacity to project power, respond decisively to emergent threats, and safeguard its strategic interests against potential acts of aggression or coercion. By serving as the credible deterrence force, CSG-1 contributes significantly to the preservation of peace and stability across the South China Sea and its adjacent waters. Moreover, CSG-1 serves as a linchpin in fostering regional security cooperation and bolstering partnerships with allied and partner nations in the Asia-Pacific theater. Through a spectrum of joint exercises, training initiatives, and information sharing endeavors, CSG-1 enhances interoperability and strengthens defense capabilities among regional navies, thereby fortifying collective security mechanisms and fostering collaborative responses to shared maritime challenges, including piracy, terrorism, and natural disasters. Furthermore, CSG-1 actively contributes to enhancing maritime security and stability within the South China Sea through its conduct of routine maritime patrols, surveillance operations, and freedom of navigation exercises. These proactive measures not only serve to deter illicit activities such as illegal fishing and smuggling, but also provide reassurance to commercial shipping and maritime trade, thereby facilitating the unimpeded flow of goods and services vital to regional prosperity. Additionally, CSG-1 stands poised to provide rapid humanitarian assistance and disaster relief in the event of humanitarian crises, underscoring its multifaceted role as a force for good in the region. Greece The operational significance and strategic positioning of the United States Navy and Suda Bay, Greece are pivotal for maintaining stability and exerting influence in the eastern Mediterranean region. Nestled on the island of Crete, Suda Bay functions as a linchpin maritime installation, furnishing essential logistical support, maintenance capabilities, and access to critical sea lanes for U.S. naval forces. The overarching missions of U.S. naval operations in Suda Bay revolve around the bolstering of regional security and fortifying defense cooperation with NATO allies and partner nations across the Mediterranean theater. At the epicenter of the U.S. Navy's presence in Suda Bay lies the Naval Support Activity, or NSA, Suda Bay, serving as the principal logistical and support hub for U.S. naval forces operating in the area. NSA Suda Bay offers a comprehensive array of services, encompassing vessel repair and maintenance, refueling, 
provisioning, and administrative assistance for both U.S. and Allied naval fleets. Moreover, NSA Suda Bay serves as a nexus for joint exercises, training endeavors, and port visits alongside NATO allies and partner nations, thereby amplifying interoperability and reinforcing defense cooperation throughout the Mediterranean region. A cornerstone of the U.S. Navy's mission in Suda Bay entails the strategic deployment of naval assets to uphold regional security and stability. This encompasses periodic deployments and rotational visits of ships, submarines, and aircraft tasked with executing maritime patrols, surveillance missions, and training exercises across the eastern Mediterranean. Through these deployments, the United States reaffirms its steadfast commitment to supporting allies and partners, augmenting maritime domain awareness, and dissuading potential adversaries from instigating destabilizing actions within the region. Additionally, Suda Bay serves as an instrumental locale for conducting joint operations and exercises alongside NATO allies and partner nations. By facilitating multinational training events, fostering information exchange, and spearheading capacity building initiatives, the U.S. Navy fosters closer defense collaboration and interoperability among regional naval forces, thereby fortifying collective security and resilience against prevalent threats such as terrorism, piracy, and illicit trafficking. Furthermore, joint exercises conducted in Suda Bay afford invaluable opportunities for U.S. and Allied forces to refine their proficiencies, trial novel tactics, and cultivate mutual trust and confidence in each other's capabilities. Furthermore, the U.S. Navy's steadfast presence in Suda Bay contributes to broader U.S. strategic objectives within the eastern Mediterranean, encompassing the promotion of stability, the countering of malign influence, and the upholding of international norms and standards. Through its visible and credible posture in the region, the U.S. Navy underscores American commitment to safeguarding shared interests, preserving freedom of navigation, and responding decisively to emergent security challenges. Additionally, the enduring presence of U.S. Naval forces in Suda Bay underscores unwavering support for NATO allies and partners, offering assurance and solidarity amid regional uncertainties and threats. The deployment in Suda Bay, Greece represents a cornerstone of U.S. strategic endeavors, cultivating defense cooperation, enhancing stability, and safeguarding maritime interests across the eastern Mediterranean. Through its robust logistical infrastructure, operational engagements, and collaborative efforts with NATO allies and partner nations, the U.S. Navy in Suda Bay contributes to the avoidance of international conflict and prosperity for nations throughout the Mediterranean Basin. Western Pacific In the unending expanse of the Western Pacific, the United States Navy plays a pivotal role in upholding humanitarian assistance capabilities, underscoring America's enduring commitment to the region's well-being. Central to these endeavors is the deployment of the USNS Mercy Hospital Ship, a critical asset epitomizing America's dedication to providing essential medical aid, disaster relief, and humanitarian assistance across the Asia-Pacific region. As one of the Navy's two hospital ships, the USNS Mercy stands as a beacon of hope and healing. Equipped with cutting-edge medical facilities, operating theaters, intensive care units, and a dedicated medical staff proficient in delivering a wide spectrum of medical services, including surgeries, dental care, and preventative medicine. With its impressive dimensions spanning 894 feet and offering a capacity of 1,000 patient beds, the USNS Mercy symbolizes American compassion and preparedness to respond swiftly to humanitarian crises and natural disasters throughout the region. Deployments of the USNS Mercy to Western Pacific serves as a strategic cornerstone for the United States Navy advancing multiple objectives in tandem. Firstly, the ship's presence underscores America's steadfast commitment to regional stability, peace, and security by providing a tangible demonstration of its readiness to extend assistance in times of need. Through engagements such as medical outreach programs, disaster preparedness training, and joint medical exercises with regional partners, the USNS Mercy fosters trust and confidence among nations while reinforcing the United States' role as a dependable security ally and provider of aid. 
Moreover, the U.S. NS Mercy plays an indispensable role in extending support to U.S. allies and partners during crises, particularly in the wake of natural disasters, humanitarian emergencies, and public health crises. Leveraging its medical capabilities, the ship can swiftly respond to diverse contingencies, delivering critical medical care and assistance to affected populations. These deployments not only bolster defense partnerships, but also enhance regional resilience and preparedness, thereby contributing to collective security and stability. Furthermore, the USNS Mercy catalyzes fostering people-to-people -people engagements and nurturing goodwill with nations across the Western Pacific. Through initiatives like medical outreach programs, community health fairs, and volunteer efforts, the ship's crew engages directly with local communities, providing vital medical services, health education, and other forms of support to underserved populations. Such endeavors not only address immediate health needs, but also foster positive relations, strengthen diplomatic ties, and foster stability and prosperity across the region. Additionally, deployments of the USNS Mercy align with the broader U.S. strategic objectives in the Indo-Pacific, including the promotion of a free and open maritime domain, countering adverse influences, and advancing shared values such as democracy, human rights, and the rule of law. By extending medical assistance and humanitarian relief, the USNS Mercy exemplifies America's commitment to serving as a force for good, reinforcing regional norms and values, and countering efforts by authoritarian regimes to undermine unsolicited rifts in the region. Before we move on, we invite you to join our channel as a member, which will not only help us continue producing these fantastic videos about the US Navy, but also serve as a tribute to all the veterans who tune in to our videos. Head on over to the link in the description, or simply visit our channel page and select Join. Thank you. Now back to the deployments. East Mediterranean Amidst the azure expanse of the Eastern Mediterranean Sea lies a strategic nexus where history, geopolitics, and oceanic commerce converge. This vital maritime crossroads, flanked by the continents of Europe, Asia, and Africa, serve as a linchpin for global trade routes. Within this dynamic theater, the United States Navy assumes a pivotal role, orchestrating a multifaceted mission encompassing deterrence, crisis response, counterterrorism, and alliance support, all aimed at safeguarding and advancing U.S. strategic interests in one of the world's most geopolitically significant regions. The U.S. Navy's formidable presence in the Eastern Mediterranean Sea is anchored by a diverse array of naval assets, ranging from aircraft carriers and surface combatants to submarines and maritime patrol aircraft. Tasked with upholding freedom of navigation and ensuring the unimpeded flow of maritime commerce, these maritime sentinels conduct routine patrols and presence missions, serving as guardians of the rules-based international order and sentinels against potential threats emanating from the depths of the sea or the corridors of power on land. Furthermore, the U.S. Navy's engagement in the Eastern Mediterranean extends beyond mere maritime surveillance and deterrence. It embodies a tangible expression of America's enduring commitment to its NATO allies and strategic partners across the region. Through joint exercises, training missions, and information-sharing initiatives, the Navy fosters closer defense cooperation and interoperability with navies from countries such as Greece, Turkey, Israel, and Egypt, strengthening the collective defense posture against shared security challenges ranging from terrorism and piracy to illicit trafficking and transnational crime. Moreover, the Eastern Mediterranean represents a front line in the global struggle against terrorism and violent extremism, necessitating a concerted effort by the U.S. Navy and its regional partners to disrupt terrorist networks interdict illicit arms shipments, and support counterterrorism operations ashore. Leveraging its maritime security capabilities, the Navy plays a vital role in deterring and disrupting maritime threats, including smuggling, trafficking, and illegal migration, therefore safeguarding regional stability and security. In addition to its security-related missions, the U.S. Navy in the Eastern Mediterranean stands ready to provide crucial humanitarian assistance and disaster relief 
in times of crisis. Equipped with versatile assets such as amphibious ships, hospital ships, and maritime patrol aircraft, the Navy can rapidly deploy to provide medical aid, logistical support, and humanitarian relief in response to natural disasters, humanitarian crises, and public health emergencies, embodying America's commitment to extending a helping hand to those in need. Furthermore, the Eastern Mediterranean Sea serves as a linchpin for U.S. efforts to address broader regional security challenges and advance key strategic objectives in the Middle East and North Africa. By maintaining a visible and credible presence in the region, the U.S. Navy reinforces America's role as a leading security provider and stabilizing force, deterring potential adversaries, countering malign influence, and promoting stability and prosperity for the nations of the region and the broader international community. Through its multifaceted mission, the Navy in the Eastern Mediterranean Sea is keeping peace in a dynamic and strategically vital geopolitical theater. The Red Sea Along the depths of the Red Sea, where ancient trade routes intersect with modern geopolitics, the United States Navy operates with precision and purpose. At the forefront of this maritime domain stands the formidable guided missile destroyer USS Laboon DDG-58, a stalwart guardian of security and stability and one of the world's busiest and most strategically significant waterways. From countering piracy and terrorism to safeguarding vital shipping lanes, the USS Laboon epitomizes America's unwavering commitment to upholding maritime security and ensuring the free flow of global commerce through its critical maritime corridor. Deployed alongside coalition partners and regional allies, the USS Laboon executes a multifaceted mission encompassing maritime patrols, surveillance operations, and security initiatives aimed at thwarting threats to maritime security in the Red Sea. The USS Laboon stands as a sentinel of stability, bolstering maritime domain awareness and fostering regional security cooperation in a region highly affecting the global economy. Moreover, as a vital conduit for international shipping and trade, the Red Sea serves as a lifeline for millions of barrels of oil and countless tons of goods bound for markets across the globe. Ensuring the unfettered movement of vessels through these strategic waters is paramount not only for the economies of the nations bordering the Red Sea, but also for the interconnected web of global trade upon which the world relies. In this regard, the presence of the USS Laboon serves as a bulwark against instability and disruption, safeguarding the uninterrupted flow of commerce and energy resources vital to global prosperity. Beyond its role in safeguarding shipping lanes and deterring threats, the USS Laboon plays a pivotal role in reinforcing U.S. security partnerships and providing assurance to regional allies in times of uncertainty or conflict. Through its capabilities for rapid response and crisis management, the USS Laboon stands ready to lend support to regional allies, whether through search and rescue operations, maritime interdiction efforts, or humanitarian assistance missions, underscoring America's enduring commitment to regional security and stability. The Red Sea represents a strategic battleground in the global fight against terrorism and violent extremism, particularly in the volatile regions of the Horn of Africa and the Arabian Peninsula. As part of a broader U.S. effort to counter these threats, the USS Laboon conducts maritime security operations aimed at disrupting terrorist networks, interdicting illicit arms shipments, and preventing the flow of resources to extremist organizations operating in the region. By denying terrorists haven and freedom of movement at sea, the USS Laboon contributes to the broader mission of degrading and defeating terrorist threats in the Red Sea and its environs. The Aden Gulf The Gulf of Aden stands as a pivotal artery in global maritime trade, linking the Arabian Peninsula with the Horn of Africa. Here, the United States Navy's presence assumes paramount importance ensuring the unimpeded flow of commerce through one of the world's most vital maritime choke points. This strategic waterway witnesses the passage of millions of barrels of oil and an array of goods daily, traversing its waters to reach destinations in Europe, Asia, and beyond. In this dynamic maritime theater, the U.S. Navy's role is indispensable, 
safeguarding crucial sea lanes of communication, deterring security threats, and fostering stability in a region marked by volatility and conflict. Despite the U.S. Navy's concerted efforts to bolster security and stability in the Gulf of Aden, the region remains vulnerable to various challenges and tensions that can imperil maritime security and stability. Notably, the ongoing conflict in Yemen stands as a stark example, where Houthi rebels clash with the internationally recognized government backed by a Saudi-led coalition. This protracted strife has engendered maritime security threats, including attacks on commercial shipping, the illicit trafficking of weapons and contraband, and the looming specter of inadvertent escalation between rival factions operating within the region. Additionally, reports of escalating tensions and rifts between regional actors, notably Iran and Saudi Arabia, have precipitated heightened military activities, naval patrols, and maritime incidents in the Gulf of Aden and its environs. Such tensions possess the potential to disrupt maritime commerce, inflame regional conflicts, and undermine endeavors aimed at fostering stability and security in the region. Thus, the U.S. Navy remains vigilant, closely monitoring developments in the Gulf of Aden and standing ready to address emergent threats and crises, thereby safeguarding vital sea lanes of communication and defending U.S. interests and allies in the region. It should suffice to say that the United States deployment in the Gulf of Aden is indispensable for advancing U.S. strategic interests, bolstering regional security, and ensuring the unimpeded flow of commerce through one of the world's most crucial maritime theaters. However, amidst the current tensions pervading in the region, the imperative for sustained security cooperation among regional and international stakeholders to confront emergent threats and preserve peace and security in the Gulf of Aden is underscored. The Persian Gulf Did you know that the Persian Gulf stands as one of the globe's most strategically vital waterways, serving as a conduit for a substantial portion of the world's oil trade? The United States Navy's role in the Persian Gulf is paramount, ensuring maritime security, facilitating the unimpeded flow of commerce, and fostering stability in a region fraught with tensions and conflicts. At the forefront of the U.S. Navy's operations in the Persian Gulf are its aircraft carriers, guided missile cruisers, destroyers, and other surface combatants. These vessels work in tandem with coalition partners and regional allies to deter threats, conduct maritime security operations, and safeguard freedom of navigation in the area. Equipped with cutting-edge sensors, weaponry, and electronic warfare capabilities, they stand ready to counter potential threats from various hostile actors, including state-sponsored militias, terrorist groups, and rival naval forces. Among the primary objectives of the U.S. Navy in the Persian Gulf is the protection of vital sea lanes of communications, particularly those through the Strait of Hormuz. This narrow passage connects the Persian Gulf to the Arabian Sea and is critical for the transit of oil and other essential resources. Given its strategic significance, the Strait of Hormuz has historically been a focal point for maritime tensions and incidents. The presence of the U.S. Navy serves as a deterrent against potential threats to maritime security, ensuring the uninterrupted flow of commerce through this crucial maritime corridor. Additionally, the Persian Gulf holds strategic importance for U.S. counterterrorism efforts, especially in the wake of events like the 9-11 attacks and the emergence of extremist groups like Al-Qaeda and ISIS. Conducting maritime security operations, gathering intelligence, and intercepting illicit weapons and funds are among the key objectives undertaken by the U.S. Navy in the region. Collaborating with regional partners and allies, the Navy contributes to disrupting terrorist networks and enhancing maritime security capabilities, thereby fostering regional stability and combating terrorist organizations effectively. The environmental challenges alone, such as oil spills, pollution, and the coral reef degradation, also pose significant threats to the Persian Gulf's ecological health and economic well-being. The U.S. Navy plays a role in supporting environmental protection efforts through activities like oil spill response operations, marine conservation initiatives, and collaboration with regional partners and international organizations to address environmental concerns 
and promote sustainable maritime practices. The Navy supports efforts to promote stability and prosperity in the Persian Gulf and surrounding areas. However, ongoing challenges highlight the need for continued vigilance and cooperation among regional and international stakeholders to address emergent threats and maintain peace and security in the Persian Gulf. South Pacific The South Pacific Ocean covers more than 50 million square kilometers, making it one of the largest and most remote oceanic regions on Earth. Despite its vastness and isolation, the South Pacific is of immense strategic importance for global trade in this day and age, serving as a vital transit route for shipping between the Americas, Asia, and Oceania. In this dynamic and strategically significant region, the United States Navy plays a critical role in maintaining maritime security, promoting stability, and advancing U.S. strategic interests through its well-reasoned deployment in the South Pacific. At the heart of the U.S. Navy's presence in the South Pacific are its aircraft carriers, amphibious assault ships, and guided missile destroyers, which operate alongside allied and partner navies to conduct a wide range of missions, including deterrence, maritime security operations, and humanitarian assistance and disaster relief efforts. These naval assets are equipped with advanced sensors, weapon systems, and logistical capabilities, enabling them to respond rapidly to emergent threats support regional partners, and project power across vast distances in the South Pacific. One of the primary missions of the U.S. Navy in the South Pacific is to promote maritime security and stability by conducting presence operations, patrols, and surveillance missions to deter potential threats and reassure allies and partners. Additionally, the Navy conducts joint exercises, training events, and information-sharing initiatives with regional navies to strengthen defense cooperation, enhance interoperability, and build capacity to address common security threats. Moreover, the South Pacific is a region of strategic importance for the U.S. efforts to counter transnational threats, including terrorism, piracy, and illicit trafficking. The U.S. Navy conducts maritime security operations to disrupt terrorist networks, interdict illicit shipments, prevent the flow of weapons, drugs, and contraband through maritime routes in the South Pacific. Additionally, the Navy supports regional partners and allies in their efforts to combat these threats, providing training, intelligence sharing, and logistical support to enhance maritime security capabilities and promote stability in the region. Naval assets such as amphibious ships, hospital ships, and maritime patrol aircraft are capable of rapidly responding to humanitarian crises providing medical care, food, water, and shelter to affected populations, and supporting international relief efforts coordinated by organizations such as the United Nations and non-governmental organizations or NGOs. Moreover, the South Pacific is susceptible to environmental challenges, including climate change, ocean pollution, and habitat destruction, which can have a significant ecological and socio-economic consequences for the region. The U.S. Navy supports environmental protection efforts in the South Pacific, including maritime conservation initiatives, pollution prevention programs, and collaboration with regional partners and international organizations to address environmental challenges and promote sustainable sea trade practices. Seattle. And there's no feeling like home, is there? Did you know that Seattle, Washington is home to one of the United States Navy's most strategically important naval installations? Situated on the shores of Puget Sound, Naval Base Kitsap in Seattle serves as a key hub for the U.S. Navy's Pacific Fleet, providing critical support for naval operations, maintenance, and logistics in the Pacific Northwest region. In this bustling maritime city, the U.S. Navy deployment in Seattle is essential for maintaining readiness, supporting fleet operations, and advancing U.S. strategic interests in the Pacific theater. Naval Base Kitsap is the largest naval installation in the Pacific Northwest, encompassing multiple facilities including Naval Station Everett, Naval Submarine Base Bangor, and Naval Magazine Indian Island. Together, these installations provide a range of capabilities, including ship repair and maintenance, submarine operations, weapons storage, and logistical support for U.S. Navy ships and submarines operating in the Pacific Ocean. 
Naval Base Kitsap also serves as a home port for several aircraft carriers, cruisers, destroyers, and submarines, which are vital assets for power projection and deterrence in the Pacific region. One of the primary missions of the U.S. Navy's deployment in Seattle is to support fleet readiness and operational readiness in the Pacific theater. Naval Base Kitsap provides essential infrastructure and services for maintaining and repairing U.S. Navy ships, subs, and aircraft, ensuring they remain ready to respond to contingencies and threats in the region. The shipyards and maintenance facilities at Naval Base Kitsap play a critical role in keeping the Pacific Fleet's assets in peak condition, enabling them to conduct a wide range of missions, including maritime security operations, deterrence patrols, and humanitarian assistance and disaster relief efforts. Moreover, Naval Base Kitsap serves as a strategic forward operations base for the U.S. Navy subs, which play a vital role in undersea warfare and strategic deterrence in the Pacific theater. Subs based at Naval Submarine Base Bangor are equipped with nuclear-powered ballistic missiles and guided missile submarines, which provide a credible and survivable deterrent against potential adversaries and support national security objectives. The deployment of submarines in Seattle enhances the U.S. Navy's ability to project power, conduct covert operations, and maintain strategic stability in the Pacific region. Furthermore, the U.S. Navy's deployment in Seattle contributes to the local economy and supports thousands of jobs in the Puget Sound region. Naval Base Kitsap is one of the largest employers in Washington state, providing opportunities for military personnel, civilian employees, and contractors to work in a variety of fields, including shipbuilding, engineering, logistics, and support services. Additionally, the presence of the U.S. Navy in Seattle fosters collaboration and partnership between the military and local communities, contributing to the overall prosperity and well-being of the region. However, despite its strategic importance and contributions to regional security and prosperity, the U.S. Navy's deployment in Seattle also faces challenges and tensions that can impact its mission and operations. One such challenge is the growing competition for maritime resources and influence in the Pacific region, driven by the rise of China as a global maritime power. China's expanding naval capabilities and assertive behavior in the South China Sea and beyond have raised concerns among U.S. allies and partners in the region, prompting the U.S. Navy to adapt its posture and operations to address emerging threats and challenges. The United States Navy's deployment in Seattle is essential for maintaining readiness, supporting fleet operations, and advancing U.S. strategic interests in the Pacific theater. Recent Events Recent events within the United States Navy have underscored the complex interplay between maritime security, international relations, and emerging geopolitical challenges. One notable development has been the increasing tensions in the Indo-Pacific region, driven by China's assertive behavior in the South China Sea and its expanding naval presence in the region. The Navy has responded by conducting freedom of navigation operations to challenge excessive maritime claims and uphold the principles of freedom of navigation and international law. These operations have drawn criticism and condemnation from Beijing, highlighting the strategic competition and geopolitical rivalry between the U.S. and China and in the maritime domain. Furthermore, the Navy has been grappling with internal challenges, including issues related to readiness, training, and maintenance. A series of high-profile incidents, including collisions involving Navy ships such as the USS Fitzgerald and the USS John S. McCain, have raised concerns about the state of readiness and operational effectiveness within the fleet. Investigations into these incidents have revealed systemic issues such as inadequate training, fatigue among crew members, and deficiencies in command and control procedures, prompting calls for reforms and improvements in naval operations and safety protocols. In addition to these challenges, the Navy has been actively involved in addressing global security threats and humanitarian crises, including the ongoing conflict in Afghanistan and the humanitarian crisis in Yemen. Naval forces have played a crucial role in supporting counterterrorism operations, conducting maritime interdictions, and providing logistical support for coalition efforts to combat extremist groups and stabilize conflict-affected regions. 
The Navy has been at the forefront of efforts to address emerging security challenges in the Arctic region, where melting sea ice and geopolitical competition are reshaping the strategic landscape. As the Arctic becomes increasingly accessible due to climate change, the Navy has been expanding its presence and capabilities in the region to ensure maritime security, protect vital sea lanes, and preserve American interests in the Arctic. Challenges The United States Navy faces a myriad of logistical, technical, operational, and financial challenges in its operations around the world, necessitating innovative solutions and adaptive strategies to overcome these obstacles. Logistically, the Navy must contend with the vast distances of the world's oceans, requiring robust supply chains and logistics networks to sustain operations across far-flung regions. Maintaining a constant flow of fuel, ammunition, spare parts, and provisions to ships, submarines, and aircraft carriers poses logistical challenges, especially during extended deployments or in remote areas where access to ports and resupply facilities may be limited. To counter these challenges, the Navy relies on pre-positioned assets, strategic partnerships with allied nations, and logistical support agreements to ensure timely and efficient resupply and sustainment of forces deployed worldwide. On the technical front, the Navy confronts the complexities of operating and maintaining a diverse fleet of ships, subs, and aircraft, each with its unique systems, sensors, and capabilities. The rapid pace of technological innovation and the increasing complexity of naval platforms present challenges in terms of training, maintenance, and interoperability. Ensuring that sailors and naval aviators are adequately trained to operate and maintain advanced systems and equipment is essential to maintaining readiness and operational effectiveness. Additionally, integrating new technologies and upgrades into existing platforms while minimizing disruptions to ongoing operations requires careful planning, coordination, and investment in research and development. Operationally, the Navy faces a range of challenges related to force structure, deployment tempo, and mission demands. Balancing competing priorities such as deterrence, power projection, and crisis response requires strategic planning and resource allocation to ensure that naval forces are postured to meet current and future security challenges. The increasing demand for forward presence and engagement in regions of strategic importance, coupled with budget constraints and force readiness concerns, strains the Navy's ability to meet operational requirements effectively. To address these challenges, the Navy employs concepts such as dynamic force employment, rotational deployments, and surge capabilities to optimize the use of available forces and respond to emerging threats in a timely and flexible manner. Financial challenges represents another significant obstacle facing the Navy, as constrained budgets and competing demands for resources limit the Navy's ability to modernize its fleet, invest in new capabilities, and sustained readiness. The rising costs of personnel, operations, and maintenance, coupled with the expense of deploying and fielding advanced platforms and weapon systems, strain the Navy's procurement budget and force planners to make difficult trade-offs between near-term readiness and long-term modernization. To mitigate these challenges, the Navy seeks to improve efficiency, streamline acquisition processes, and prioritize investments in critical capabilities such as shipbuilding, submarine modernization, and naval aviation. In response to these logistical, technical, operational, and financial challenges, the Navy employs a range of strategies and initiatives aimed at enhancing readiness, agility, and effectiveness across the force. This includes investing in training and professional development programs to ensure that sailors and officers are prepared to meet the demands of a dynamic and rapidly evolving security environment. Additionally, the Navy leverages partnerships with industry, academia, and allied nations to foster innovation, share best practices, and develop cutting-edge technologies to maintain a competitive edge in maritime operations. Furthermore, the Navy implements measures to optimize fleet readiness and availability, including predictive maintenance, condition-based monitoring, and asset management strategies to reduce downtime and increase the operational availability of ships, subs, and aircraft. 
The Navy has also adopted a risk-based approach to force planning and resource allocation, prioritizing investments in critical capabilities that provide the greatest return on investment and contribute to mission success in key operational areas. As we wrap up our journey through the multifaceted world of the United States Navy, we're curious to hear your thoughts and opinions. Considering the Navy's global presence, diverse missions, and evolving challenges, what are your thoughts on the role in the U.S. Navy in today's geopolitical landscape? How do you perceive its impact on international security, maritime trade, and humanitarian efforts? Share your insights, reflections, and any questions you may have with us in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, we kindly ask you to show your support by giving it a like and subscribing to our channel. Your support means a lot to us and motivates us to continue creating entertaining and educational content on the U.S. Navy and other maritime topics. Don't forget to click the bell icon to receive notifications whenever we upload a new video. We look forward to bringing you more exciting content in the future. We'll see you in the next one.